Can you see that hair there? Hello guys, welcome back. I'm starting this vlog on an evening because it is the 1st of November. So we are going to some fireworks and bonfire night tonight. Then we've got a nice pub breakfast. I was gonna say pub lunch, but we're actually going to watch the rugby World Cup final at a local pub with some friends. So we have that tomorrow and some drinks and stuff. So I thought I would vlog this weekend. Nice little kind of festive weekend because it's bonfire night coming up and Halloween's now over. My phone's ringing. One second. So that was Tom. He's actually en route back from work, but he said the traffic is horrendous. So I've got ready, ready to go watch the fireworks. I've got like a bit of a hat mark there. Um, and yeah, he's probably about half an hour, 45 minutes away. And then by the time we place that we're going is about 30 minutes away as well. So it will be pitch black. I mean, it's pretty much pitch black outside now anyway. But I thought, I don't know if it'll be any good vlog footage or not, but the people that I like to watch their vlogs, I like the cozy, wintry feel to vlogs. And I would like to be brought along on like trick or treat night or bonfire night i like that so who knows maybe some of you guys will like that wintry warming vlog type features as well so that is my plan for this evening i'm very excited there is a hog roast there's going to be toffee apples sparklers mulled wine cozy pom-pom hat i'm going to put a big teddy coat on because it's actually forecast drizzle and i'll see you guys when i'm there my hair is playing Play me. I mean, look, what is that? I'm listening to Dip It Low. <laughs> you ready for the fireworks? Mm. All the excitement is on another level. You must be, we're going to see your cricket lads. Yeah. Come on, smile. I'm only joking. Cricket what? Lids. <laughs> He's probably stressed because you've just had a long journey, haven't you? I've been driving him. <laughs> never driving again apparently uh, we did drive from Hull in pretty much rush hour so that it's is going to half two and it's like normally a two and a half two hours two hour, hour drive. and 50 minutes yeah that's, that's a bit annoying but we are en route now that's the important thing I'm going to have a hog roast toffee apple mulled wine sparklers if woo have, if they did mulled diet coke would you have that I'd have a mulled diet coke if they did that yeah I do quite like mulled wine though. Um, it's not too alcoholic, is it? I remember at school we used to get drinks tickets for when we had a bonfire night, and we were only we were limited to two mulled wines per person. Hey. Eh? Well, because it's were you? alcohol. How old were you? Like six, seventeen. So you were breaking the law. Eighteen. No, I think because it's something to do with being on school property. Same no with. Chance. No, no, no. Listen, when, whenever we had balls or events or anything like that, we'd always get drinks tokens. Well, that's and that's age 17, 18. That's definitely breaking the law. Now I don't think. Why would they allow it if. Because. Um, if it's a school on school property with adults present, just like when you go to a pub. You're gonna have a meal. Yeah, we were having a meal. We had we ate at school, didn't we? We were having a sit down three course dinner at a ball and we were allowed two drinks tokens each. Ask anyone who didn't go to private school if they ever had a three course meal at a ball at school without it descending into a fight because that is exactly what happened at my school. It wouldn't descend into a fight because we only had two drinks tokens per person. No matter if I sober in Nelson. <laughs> oh dear, yeah okay well I went to boarding school, private school from age 10, but before, that was the first private school I went to. Okay, someone's calling. Oh, you can see us. They've just lit the bonfire. But I think we're gonna go try and grab some food before fireworks begin. Tom, look at that dog. On the, with his little jumper on. And that's a wrap. The fire's still going in the distance, you can see it. 
we're heading back now i need to have a shower wash my hair which tom keeps on saying we need to go because she's washing her hair but we're up early tomorrow we're at 8 30 a.m we're in the pub watching the rugby you're lurking again i'm a lurker all the cricket people laugh at him in the, his videos don't they your videos well my videos our videos my videos my videos um because he's a lurker you are the other star of the show, they don't want no one wants no, to see me. No, guys, yes they do. Tom thinks that no one wants him in the video, but I think people would be interested in seeing you in the video more. Good morning, it is Saturday, it's Rel Rugby World Cup final day. We're just about to head off, still got boots to pack away from last night, because we got back late -ish, and then I had to jump in the shower, wash my hair, dry my hair, do all that, and it took a while. Still got some work to do today, so I'm not gonna be out all day, but this morning is gonna be hopefully a really nice breakfast and hopefully win for the rugby. We will see. Oh, that video has uploaded, so I just need to schedule that. Right, okay. So, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's nice. It's lovely, lovely and sunny. I'm gonna do a walking OOTD. You know what OOTD is? Outfit of the day. Good job. Jumper, H&M, bodysuit, oh pony. <laughs> Bottoms, leggings, top shot, Louis Vuitton. Happy dust. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want yeah. to? Taggers, Taggers. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Yeah, just act natural. <laughs> Just nip back home, but it was a loss, wasn't it, Tommy Lord? Are we allowed to show your new house? No. Ooh, I opened your mail. <laughs> Got them curtains. So this is Tommy Lord's new project. I feel like you need to get full on before and afters for your Instagram or your YouTube. Your house renovations YouTube. These curtains are not staying. Long story short, this house, you bought it because you already own the building next door and it's going to be like a bit of a project for you, isn't it, to convert it into flats. Yeah. Who are you meeting today? Someone for? I mean, Joe Nutter is a big fan of the blog. Vlog? Vlog, yeah. It's a video blog. Joe Nutter is a big fan of it. And I'm meeting Your, your M&S label's sticking out the back of your hat. Yeah. <laughs> What's he do? Electrics? Plumbing? Electrics. Lovely. I mean, quick house tour, empty house tour. Oh my god, if I titled this empty house tour, everyone would think we're moving. Like if when we get a house together, we'll oh dear, <laughs> we'll get we'll do um, an empty house tour, like a before and after. I can tell you've already started trying to pull the carpet away in the wallpaper. So this is like front room when you walk in, staircase leading up. Another front room, which again, I think they've been seeing what's behind the wall or something. Uh, mirror selfie. <laughs> a little bar area, which is a bit unusual. And then through here we have a kitchen. And then, believe it or not, an outside toilet. Should we go upstairs? It's a bit scary, this house. Wow. It's so like not modern. So you come up the stairs, ladder. If you turn right, you go into this room here. Uh, very nice teal turquoise colour. Through this room, another bedroom, and this, believe it or not, leads into. Like if you actually shut it, it's meant to look like, I don't know, a, a cupboard or something. But that was once a door into the office next door, which is a working garage, car garage, which is what Tom's building is. So hence why he's bought this building adjacent to it to convert the entire thing into flats. And then this little walk-in wardrobe jobby here and then we lead back through here to this room. Interesting. 
and then through here, I mean the rooms are huge, we have a bathroom. Ta-da! And that is the bathroom and toilet. So a fair project. I'll definitely update you guys once he's finished it. But I definitely think you should set up like a little working Instagram with before and afters and progress and videos and everything like that. Even though we're not living in it, is it something that you would be interested in seeing like a progress? Because I mean, it's gonna be quite a difference. Project one, phase one. So that's the house and this is the garage. The downstairs anyway. Upstairs at the minute is office. News of floor is out. So I'm on the hunt. I am on the hunt. I need to find it because it's sparkling spruce, which is right up my street. Um, I also need to sell my iPhone 7 Plus. So I thought if I head into Burnley and see um, what like cash converters can offer me for it, or I might sell it online, I'm not sure yet, but um, I'm just gonna take in initial price because I might have to fix the screen annoyingly just before I bought my new phone. Oops, um, I cracked my phone, I dropped it. So on the front there's a little bit of damage. So I just wanna see the difference between them buying it now and uh, buying it if I get the screen repaired. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna head in and I'm also on the hunt, I might just, if I get time, quick browse around the local thrift stores because myself and Mr. Carrington are gonna do some kind of a festive gift swap this year. So I'm gonna start early and just browse to see if there's anything in. If there's bits in that I like, I might also do a thrift gift guide. No, well, you can't really do a thrift gift guide. I might do a thrift charity shop haul Christmas edition for my own self for my own things alongside the christmas gift swap which i think is a great idea i'm so excited for that so for now heading on in to town hunting down the new zaflora if any of you have spotted it please let me know which shop you've spotted it in i believe morrison's might be a good place oh, make you happy again Weird. good place for me to start morrison's asda sainsbury's all of them someone's moved my mirror Right, I will let you know if I find any Zephora. I'm in Tesco's and I've managed to find it. I'm so excited. I've got this sparkling spruce and festive fireside. But these are literally the only three out of all of these Zephoras. I've checked the back I'm on my hands and knees. And I'm just going to buy all these three. Uh, I did find Winter Spice as well, one of those from Morrison's. But yay! There's also this section which I've never seen before called bulk buys and everything's like eight people wash, ten people wash and then all of this section as well like eight p per bowl. Uh, okay I see what they're doing here, two p per mug. It's like a little mini Costco in here. If only they did a bulk buy of Zaflora because I would buy them all. I popped into Burger King. It's 20 to 2 now and I don't know what time Tom will be done he's still out drinking with the lads after the rugby so um, I've been doing a little bit of shopping I did do a bit of thrifting but I'm gonna keep that separate for the Christmassy kind of thrift videos um, and what else did I get oh I got the Zafloras which I showed you in Tesco's I can't believe I got the last sparkling spruce and the last two fire, festive fire sites, but at least I know what that one is because I had it last year. Um, but if I see any more, I'm, I am gonna be stocking up because I feel like they're the sort of thing that are gonna sell pretty quickly. And I also feel like they're my favorite scents, full stop. So I kind of want to stock up for a few months. I'm just gonna have some mac and cheese bites, an Oreo milkshake from Burger King, get back home and I need to hinge the house. I feel like we're gonna chill this afternoon. I don't think Tom will be back late. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think he'll be back late, but I do wanna like have the house tidy and clean. Like I haven't even made the bed today and it's on my mind. I hate leaving the house without making the bed, but we're in such a rush this morning that I didn't even have a chance to make the bed and that just stresses me out. I might even put Christmas film on in the background whilst I tidy up. Bacon sandwich for breakfast, Burger King for lunch, and who knows, maybe even a takeaway tonight for when Tom gets home. So, very naughty cheat day today for me. 
hey ho, it's Christmas. <laughs> That's my excuse for everything in November and December. Well, it's Christmas, why not? Stand up Alfie. straight, so you don't want to... Go on, go on. Right, and then go sexy over the shoulder. Sexy over the shoulder. Like this, like a next model. Look at that. Finger oh. in the mouth. Finger in the mouth. You constipated. <laughs> 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 I'm going to do sexy over Jimmy, the shoulder. Jimmy, over the shoulder. Jimmy, over the shoulder, over the right shoulder. Right shoulder. <laughs> no, turn your head. Jimmy, turn your head. Jimmy, look at me over the shoulder. Guys, if you want something to do, I'm in like this. Work the camera. <laughs> No! No, is it as in, as in, as in, no, as in properly look and put your finger in your mouth. Do you mean? Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh no. Oh, what are they doing, these crazy people? Oh, <laughs> what? It is. Oh, what time is it? You two. Just let me get where's your pit? Half five in the afternoon. Oh look at that beat. Look how you can see that red flashing light on my oh, phone. Yeah. Oh God, give me a phone for it. It's still Halloween. Halloween. Oh, hey. oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I got that. Morning. Oh, hang on. Uh, Somebody's rough. I'm not. Well, you still have got a thick head. A thick head? Well, I'm going to go get us some food and we are going to stay here all day today. Agreed? Netflix and chill. <laughs> My God. I'm going to get lots of treats, so don't judge. It's Christmas. <laughs> and also, I had permission this morning to oh, set up the Christmas lovely. tree already. And then that lovely reduced sauce. Woo! See how gloopy it is? Okay, mm. let's go get some food. We are watching just a little update. Oh, someone's tired still. The, what's it called? David Cameron, Cameron. Years. Years, the Cameron Years. We're on the second episode. We've got our snacks on the go, Fox's biscuits, I've got my Mrs. Hinch activity journal planning for the week ahead with my diary as well. This is a very lazy Sunday, isn't it? I might even light the candles over there somewhere. So I have dressing gown slippers on, candles lit, snacks for later, and we're actually just watching this movie called The Frozen Ground, which is really good. Um, I think it's based on a true story, actually. Tom's just at the front door getting the Chinese. You know everyone. Even the Chinese delivery guy. <laughs> Yay! What a way to end our cosy, lazy Sunday. Don't let this gym gear to see you. I've been at the gym all morning. No, you haven't. Before you even got up. Sure. This is a state of someone who has been in bed all day. Cuddling, cuddling. So I'm actually gonna end this vlog here. As you can tell, we have our Chinese delivered, ready to consume and pretty much just finish watching this. And if you haven't already seen, BBC have got a new David Attenborough documentary out called Seven Worlds, One Planet, is it? Really, really good if you like David Attenborough. So we're gonna watch that later on. And then probably call it a night because we had a late night last night. I'm feeling very tired, looking very tired. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this cozy little weekend, festive bonfire, fireworks kind of weekend. And I will hope to see you guys next week. Bye guys.